Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. <sighs> Just got back from the morning pedal. It was actually raining this morning, and uh, met the guys. Got up about 5:20 a.m. and met the guys, and uh, met them about 10 to 6. Then we've got this little mountain range called Mount Tomlin, and it was pissing down the rain full on. But it was middle of winter, and I'm not wearing any. Uh, didn't even need the the uh, warmth today. It was very uh, very warm morning for a winter here in Gold Coast, Australia. It was quite funny to see a lot of riders. Full sleeves, winter gloves, beanie on, full leggings, boots, and the vegan guy with, you know, half naked on the bike and uh, in the rain. It was hilarious. So I don't know where the notion that if you're a vegan or a raw foodist, you get colder. I think that, well, no, I don't think. I know that's because a few newbies will, like, under-eat and then, you know, just go out there and just, like, suffer in the cold. But the reality is, if it was true, then I would have to do the reverse and wear all the clothing that all the other riders wear that I don't have to wear in the middle of winter in the rain. So it's an interesting one, that one. So definitely my tips for cold weather would be, first of all, is sufficient carbohydrate calories so your body can burn the glycogen and keep you warm, yeah? Second one would be acclimatization, getting used to the, the cooler weather. Because I remember today, this morning, when it started raining, I was like, oh, the rain's here, you know, what's going to happen? But after... 10 minutes of riding in the rain, it's like, oh, this is awesome, you know, it's awesome. Thirdly, if you're really fit, you know, you've got better circulation. So if you're eating low fat, you'll have a better circulation. You won't you have the lipemia? Look up lipemia, thick blood, fatty blood, toxic, sludgy blood. This oxygen's not getting around, the body gets colder quicker. So if you've got the lipemia, you're going to need more clothing relative to what you would otherwise. So that's another one. Fourth one would be just to harden the fuck up. Have a big, nice glass of harden the fuck up sometimes. We need that. I need that sometimes even. So definitely, there are my four tips for staying warm in the cold weather. But then people's turning and going, Duran Rider, you haven't had a, a full winter since 2002, which is true. It's just I prefer the warmer weather. I prefer the sunshine and the mangoes and chilling on the beach or riding, you know, with no shirt or whatever. That's what I prefer but I can handle the cold better than ever before in my life. Hands down better than any, any ever before. I mean, I'll, you know, people th here think it's cold this morning. People wearing full-on winter gear, snow gear. <laughs> They're wearing snow gear on the bike almost, and I've got the summer kit on. They're looking at me like, what the fuck is up that guy? But so that's just my little tips here, quick video. Post your tips down below. What keeps you warm when it gets colder? Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, join the cult. We're a loving bunch of cult members. Thanks for watching.